Hey boys and girls, let's talk about asthma. That's something I've had for 37 years, I think, 37 years this summer. So yeah, it blows. Uh, mine's pretty severe. It's gotten a little better as I've gotten older, but not uh, far from outstanding. Um, depending on the season, with all the meds I'm now on, I can uh, walk around comfortably without a rescue inhaler in my pocket, but it's always in a car or not too far away. And that's that's the best I've been in uh, ever, really. And that's that's life. I'm not I'm not here to complain. But there's a drug. If you read the description, I wanted to bring up because uh, it seems like as far as pills go. Uh, it's the usual anti-allergy here, take your, take your Zyrtec, take your Singular. Um, you know, I, I, I I'm, feel like I'm very blessed with a doctor that tried a lot of different things to get me under control. Uh, and under control for me is obvious, obviously is a relative term. However, uh, Zephyr Lucast. Uh, see, that's, uh, what? Yep, yep, so you can read it. Yep. Where is it? There it is. I if my camera will focus. Uh, whatever. It's in the description. You can. Uh, the uh, marketing name for that back in the day was Accolade. And uh, it's not something I had ever been on when I was younger. I don't know why that is because I tried a lot of drugs when I was younger as well. Um, and just perusing the internet right now, it doesn't look like it's recommended for people under 12. So that, that might have been why no one gave it to me when I was a kid. Uh, and, you know, full disclosure, obviously I'm, I'm I'm not a doctor or whatever. I'm just a guy that's had asthma for three plus decades and is trying a lot of medications. Uh, for me, Accolate uh, slash Zephyr Lucast um, has made a big difference. Uh, didn't cure things, didn't make me all better. You know, even right now I got allergy stuff going on. I'm very red, whatever. But, um, it's, uh, it's, 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 I don't want to say it's a wonder drug. It's not like taking prednisone, which, uh, if you're watching this, I'm assuming you've had asthma issues. You've probably been on and off the steroids. You know how good they make us feel, but, uh, you can't stay on them long term. But, um, I did singular for a while and it made me a little nuts. Uh, that's one of the side effects of singulars, uh, just, uh, personality shifts and I felt good I really felt good but you know I I was yelling at everyone I was you know like not not like extremely violent or anything like that but um it was it was uh <laughs> there were a lot of fights in the house you know so uh singular definitely made me a little nuts uh come to find out a good friend of mine uh also had that reaction on singular so um, you know, it, it happens. No, no drug is perfect for everyone, I guess. When I was younger, what they did give me a lot of was uh, theophylline. That's another. Uh, today, if you hear theophylline, people are still on it, but that that is a dinosaur of a drug. Um, and the problem was, it did it did keep me breathing when I was younger, but it gave me huge, huge, huge headaches, like the the horrible behind your eyeball, like you just want to chop off your head to make the pain stop kind of headaches. Um, so, and then, uh, you know, so those suck, but this, this was kind of a happy, uh, happy middle and it's not something that's commonly prescribed. It's not, um, like my, my pharmacist always comments, Oh, you're the only one that I ordered this for. Um, and my doctors commented, Oh, you're the only one I write this for. Um, I mean, I'm glad she was so willing to try new things to try to get me somewhat under control. So I do uh, 20 milligram tablet twice a day, but um, I believe that can go a bit higher uh, if needed to. Or no, excuse me, I think I'm at the max of what I could take combined with other meds I'm on. Whatever, that's a question for your doctor. But uh, I just I wanted to mention it as a possible alternative to singular to uh, to theophylline. Just if, if you're having trouble with asthma in general, it's just not something that is prescribed 
very often because uh, Accolade, the, the original name of this, came on the scene and then like Singular showed up a little while later and everybody's like, yay, Singular, and Zyrtec and all that. Uh, this this has worked better for me though. Um, my insurance used to cover it. It was no big deal. It was totally covered. And I felt very singled out by, hey, 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 get down. Thank you. No. Dick apologizes. Anyway, I felt very singled out by my insurance company because, you know, I have my doctor saying, oh, you're the only one to write this for. And my farmer's, oh, you're the only one I fill this for. So I, I have a feeling I'm the only one on it. And thus it wasn't like, you know, they decided to change the formulary based just on me, the, you know, fucking Blue Cross Blue Shield. Uh, but anyway, uh, I'm sure that sounds paranoid, but I, I live in a state with a low population. So, I mean, you know, I, I, I think that actually could be the, the thing. Uh, um, Blue Cross Blue Shield in New Mexico might have changed that just because of me. All right, special. Anyway, it's not horrendously expensive. It's not cheap. Uh, at my local uh, Smith's supermarket, which is part of Kroger, depending what part of the country you're in, or Ralph's on the West Coast, or... You know, King Supers, if you're in Colorado, it's all part of Kroger. Anyway, uh, it's about 75 bucks a bottle for a month uh, supply. You can probably find it a little cheaper online or something if you really want to look. But um, my pharmacist or my pharmacy is always really good about uh, getting things, you know, keeping them stocked for me and stuff. So I and it's convenient. So if it's a couple extra bucks, it's not a big deal to me. But I just wanted to mention it because it's one of those things that. Uh, everybody either seems to have forgotten about or didn't know in the first place. And if you're having uh, asthma allergy troubles, it might be worth bringing up with your doctor uh, because they, they all seem to rush to Singular. And some of the old doctors, I'm sure, are still prescribing Theophylline, which is, uh, I mean, it works, but it's not the greatest drug in the world. And it's, uh, it's just, uh, for, for me anyway, it, 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 it's, it's helped. Um, you know, I still... Still got to carry this fucker around, and I got a whole basket full of other allergy and asthma meds I take. But uh, this, of the new things I've added in the last couple of years since I've been with my current doctor, this one has probably made the single biggest difference. Um, that and uh, metoprotonol, but I'll do a separate video on that. Uh, so, anyway, just. Uh, Something to think about if you're a beer wheezer like me. Um, might be worth asking about. Um, and while I got the, the screen up, uh, you know, like any drug, there's you, you can get an, it's, it says it's generally well tolerated. I have had no side effects on this thing, but apparently people can get a headache or upset stomach. The headache can't be any worse than the horrible headaches I used to get with the uh, Theophylline, but... Um, very rare side effects that can occur uh, that are life-threatening or liver failure. Uh, Church Strauss syndrome has been associated with Zephyr Lacasa. Sorry, I don't mean to laugh at people that have Church Strauss. It's just um, my immunoglobulin E was so high for a while that we thought that's something I might actually have. Um, but I, I don't, thank goodness. Um, that's just a, it's a really messed up autoimmune disease. And, if I did have that, I'd probably just put myself in a plastic bubble. Like, you know, it's 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 really miserable to have be that hypersensitive to allergies. But by and large, though, uh, it seems to work well for asthma. So just anyway, throwing that out there, something to think about. Peace out.